Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be talking about Podia and email marketing, more specifically how you can utilize it to shoot out some broadcasts or even create campaigns. If you'd like to follow along or just check out Podia, you can check out the link down below in the description. And if you click that, they come with a free plan, which is always a good thing. First and foremost, let's create a new broadcast. So up at the email tab up top, I'm just going to open this uh, Yeah, in a new tab. Why not? All right, and if you are new to Podia, your screen should probably look something like this, where you can send the broadcast or start a campaign. Campaign's kind of like an autoresponder follow-up where someone gets an email immediately, and then you can choose when they're gonna get the following e emails, maybe a day later, two days later after that. That's gonna be up to you. Let's start by sending out broadcast just to show you how it works. So I'm gonna click on this. Okay, so the free plan, as you can see, will have some limitations. You can send a broadcast up to 250 recipients per month on the free plan. Of course, upgrading will allow you to do much more than just that. You can also import your list and, of course, plenty of other features that come along with Podia aside from email related. So subject line, no, this is just going to be a test, whatever you want to put here. The case against YouTube marketing, just something quick that came up off the top of my head. Of course, this is going to be where your content is going to be going. Add your email content here. What you can do is you can preview, you can send it a test. So whatever email that you use to sign up for Podia, when you do send test, it should go to that one. I'll just show you the preview here. I don't believe it as the subject line. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit more content. In fact, I'll be right back. I'm gonna create some myself and then I'll paste it in there. Okay, and just like that, we have much more uh, <laughs> email copy, I guess you could say. Let's click on preview here so you can see what it would look like with a little bit more as we scroll down that way. So what we could do, we could always do finish later. We can send later. We can review and send. It says you can't send emails without recipients, of course. You'll have to have some when you first get started. Once you start getting them, then, of course, what you can do is utilize that. The cool thing, though, with campaigns, you can start creating those so that when you do get your emails, you can send them out to them as well. So let me just show you how to do that. Remember in the previous page when we had the emails. So we're going to do a campaign and then a new one. All right. So campaign name, this is just going to be the overall. Let's just do So say it was called Marketing Island Follow-Up. So entrance condition, how is someone going to be receiving this? So people enter the campaign and begin receiving emails once they match a specific condition. So they signed up for a product, if they subscribe for waitlist emails, uh, joined a community plan. So let's go to that. Let's just say they did the Marketing Island one. They came across that. So if you want to utilize exit conditions, you can do that as well. Exit condition is just pretty much a way of taking them off. To give you an example, let's say someone signs up to your email list and through those follow-ups, maybe you want to get them to purchase a product. If they purchase a product, that would be a great reason for them to take them off those specific emails because usually those emails are going to be trying to sell that product. And if they already have it, they don't need any more pitches on it seeing they already purchased it. That would be a good reason to add an exit condition. But for now, that's just going to be how it is. If you want to upgrade, obviously, you can utilize those. Here's going to be our email. So the first one's going to be immediately. And once again, we have email subject, one sec. Okay, we have the case against YouTube marketing. I'm just going to be using the same content here. Okay, so I pasted it in. We have our email. Let's say that's what it was going to be. We can preview it as well. There's also the ability to send a test if needed. Okay, and what you can do, what you want to do, once it's good to go, you click on email is active and will be sent with campaign. So this is something you can set up right away, of course, which is probably a good idea if you want people to opt in and then hit your campaign. You can utilize that. There is finish later and start campaign. Once you click on start, that means it's going to be good to go for people to opt in, of course, get the emails. And the cool thing is what you can also do is do new email. So this would be the second one. This is where you can start changing around the days. So maybe you want to send this two days later. Okay, email subject line, whatever it's going to be, right? I had a quick question. I'm just pasting this in here. This was the uh, content I had before just to kind of show you some content, what it would look like. Of course, if you want this one to be active, you can utilize that as well. It's been saved. And from there, that's where you're going to keep adding emails if you want to do that. So this is three days after the original entrance. So that would be one day after the previous one. If you did four, that means it would be, you know, two days after the original and then two more. So that's just, I like how they have this here. So they're isn't that confusion. It's not four days before the previous email. It's for the actual entrance. And of course, once you are done, you can just click on start campaign if you want to get it up and running, or you can click on finish later. That's kind of like saying, hey, I'm just going to save it how it is. It's good how it is now. And then I'll edit it later when needed. But overall, that's a very quick look at the email marketing feature when it comes to Podia. Of course, there's going to be broadcast. That's kind of like a newsletter. If you want to send something out to everyone, maybe you have a discount, maybe you have a coupon, a new launch, a new product, a new value video a new tutorial, whatever it might be, of course, send anything to just about 
your entire audience. And of course, there's going to be the campaigns, which are kind of like the autoresponder series. You can send emails at specific segments. And that's really going to be up to you when you do it, how you do it, and of course, why you do it. There's always going to be a reason why you want to send out an email, right? You just need to know that yourself based on what you're doing with your business. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And of course, if you want to check out Podia, I will leave that link in the description for the free plan access. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.